Here's a simple explanation on how the new crafter works and two simple designs to craft almost anything you need. To craft a crafter, you need just five iron, two redstone, a dropper, and a crafting table. And of course, you can auto-craft a crafter. You can toggle each slot in the crafter. This is how you can select the recipes you want it to craft. A crafter will fill itself up with blocks from top to bottom, one at a time. And it will focus on slots with the fewest blocks, aiming to distribute the blocks evenly among all the slots. So, for example, if you wanted to craft stairs, this is how you would do it. The crafter will output a signal strength determined by what slots are filled up with items. So, if we fill up all nine slots, we're going to get a signal strength of nine. And if we only have one slot filled up, then it's going to have a signal strength of one. Using these mechanics, here are two simple auto-crafter designs for two different use cases. I go into detail about each design and what they're good at while going over the build. Number one is this simple design for for auto-crafting any recipes that uses two item types. So for example, TNT, bookshelves, sea lanterns, hoppers, droppers, redstone lamps, and even golden apples and carrots. Yeah, you get the idea. This design has a simple auto-stop mechanism, where if there are not enough items in the two hoppers, the system will stop itself so that it does not lose its saved preset the crafter will keep crafting as long as there's enough items in the hopper. The way this design works is by determining the crafting recipe beforehand in the crafter. So in this case, sand and gunpowder for TNT. Make sure to fill up these two barrels with the relevant items for crafting. Finally, flick these two comparators and your auto crafter should start going. Next, we're going to build an auto crafter that can automate the crafting process of items that only requires one material to craft. So that includes items like iron blocks, which only uses iron ingots, any type of stair and slab, chests, trapdoors, and many more. Basically, if an item can be crafted with one ingredient, use this contraption. The cool thing about this is that it is tileable, meaning that you could have the same contraption repeating to the sides. Now let's test this design. Let's fill up this chest with iron ingots, and let's keep the crafter as it is with all nine slots enabled so that it crafts up iron blocks. As you can see, this design works perfectly and is automatically crafting iron blocks for us. And this can auto-craft any item that only requires a single material.